All right, Brian Carroll here with uh, Matt Krokseleski, a um, good friend of mine. Just wanted to talk uh, about his uh, plans for bodybuilding over the next year or so. Um, what he plans to do, I think it's Junior Nationals, and yep. what he wants to do in the you know, short term over the next year or so, and if he plans to compete powerlifting. So we're going to get into that a little bit. But uh, Matt, thanks for giving me a second between attempts over here. Tell me exactly what you plan on doing in 012. Uh, for 12, uh, plans are, um, main plan is Junior Nationals in June in Chicago. Um, since they changed the rules, we have to requalify every year. I have to do a basically a tune-up show first. So I'm gonna do the Michigan in May. That's about the closest one that worked for me. How far is that yeah. before junior? Um, it's about five weeks before. So the bad thing is it's not close enough just to peak once. So I'm gonna have to peak twice. Basically, we'll diet down for the Michigan like a regular show, and then uh, we'll carb up for a couple weeks, and then dial it back in again for the junior nationals. It should be able to actually. It should work well. It'll you know it's gonna be like five months of dieting, but I should be able to come in bigger and harder at the second show. So it should work out well. Good. Is uh, Shelby going to be doing your nutrition again? Yep, yep. Still working with Shelby. And I mean, if it, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. He, you know, did a great job last time, and I think we'll be able to dial things even better in this time. Okay. And what about? Uh, do you have John Meadows or anyone like that help you with training? I know you have your insane uh, training <laughs> regimens that you do. Yeah, I'm still doing all my own training. Um, you know, so far things are going really well. And. Uh, you know, again, if it's not broke, you know, don't want to fix it. So right, you've been broke plenty of times, right? Yeah, oh yeah. Well, if we do break, then we fix it. So how's your tricep doing that you pulled? Um, it's doing well. You know, I'm still having a lot of problems with tendonitis and stuff in, in my elbow, but uh, you know, probably pushing it a little too hard too soon. But I know that you know one of the things I need to bring up most is my arm size. So I've been trying to hit the triceps hard. Been training them twice a week along with my buys, and then also legs twice a week. Cause those are the areas I need to bring up the most. It's working, you know. It's just the, you know, it's constant battle fighting against the tendonitis and beating up the joints too much. And you know, after 15 plus years competing in powerlifting, you know, it takes its toll. So, uh, so the main, you know, main thing is is trying to, you know, keep growing and uh, without beating myself up too much. Right. Um, any plans to come back and do a couple powerlifting meets in the next um, couple of years? Eventually down the road, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I know to do what I want to do for uh, bodybuilding, I got to focus on that 100%. If I try to do both, I'm not going to make progress in either. So I, right now, you know, concentrate on all my bodybuilding goals. But then when that's done, I mean, every once in a while I get to itch a little bit, you know, want to throw some heavy weights around and, you know, miss it a little bit here and there. And, I, you know, there's still some things I'd really like to do, you know, possibly maybe take a shot at a 900 deadlift down the road, um, maybe another move up a class, you know, you know, world record total maybe in the 242s if I'm not too far away from that class, things like that. But right now, you know, I, I need to focus on bodybuilding, what I'm trying to do there. and. When I, once I reach that, then I'll reassess everything and decide what I want to do in powerlifting. But I, I, I'd say 99% sure I will be back at some point. Yeah, it's kind of like, uh, you know, late Rick Hussey would say, you know, you can only really focus on one thing. You could be a jack of all trades, but you're a master of none. Exactly. And you could still keep your foot in the powerlifting and dabble a little bit, but right now your focus is bodybuilding. You don't want to half-ass anything. Exactly, and that's exactly right. If you try to, you know, you try to do two things all you're gonna do is do each 50 percent you know you got to focus on one thing and do that 100 percent yep i agree totally um you can see matt's log at elitefts.com matt do you have a website up yet that people can um, contact you it should you? be up any day um they're wrapping up right now it's uh www.mattcroc.com yeah you do pre-comp for bodybuilding and you actually help with some uh, yeah. powerlifting routines what else do you do yep uh training diets um i'm working on some ebooks that should be done before too long uh have t-shirts and a few other things in the works including like some crock row handles you know, special dumbbell handles that can hold a lot of weight. Um, got a lot of stuff I'm excited about, and um, it all should be coming, be done here in the near future. Cool. All right, Matt, thanks for your time, buddy. Good luck next year at the yep. Junior National. Thanks. thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right, thanks. Thanks, buddy.